I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to the channel. Please do click subscribe, help the channel grow, and like this video and share it if you really love it. I really appreciate it. Um, Taurus, this is for sun, moon, rising, or wherever Taurus influences your chart, because this is not a horoscope. This is an energy reading. So I take oracle cards and I do intuitive, empathic energy reading for the energies surrounding this week, week and a half. So where, whenever you hear this message, it is the right time. And um, If it's the right message for you, I can guarantee you, you'll know it right away. If you if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. So let's get into the Oracle card reading. There's always an extended, that link is in a, this is the description box below. It's a full tarot card spread that extends and articulates this energy reading and includes a romance reading. So that's, once again, that link is always below. It's always available for you. Um, Taurus, Taurus. Oh, door. Oh, oh, damn. You're staying away from something that you feel is impending heartbreak. Or you're staying away from what you feel is home because you think you'd break somebody's heart. You think people would be disappointed in you somehow. Maybe you're feeling a huge sense of disappointment in yourself. Something of an imbalance in the, um, the heart space. This is the energy of three surrendering now not deciding not to give up after a heartbreak or no definitely deciding to avoid a heartbreak hold on your crowning energy you are never alone and surrender now but both of that is upside down you're feeling at a distance from people that you are really loved and cared for bye See, yeah, you're feeling, you're feeling kept separate and kept apart by almost like, and this is why you're feeling sort of detached from your sense, a self, a sense of detachment, a sense of, um, <sighs> hold on. Being away from the place where you feel most loved and most comfortable. And there could be some intent behind this too. Staying away from a, a place where you feel recognized or comfortable. Or keeping yourself from being loved because you don't want to be hurt. Being afraid somehow or being, being weary of an impending heartbreak. Or weary of being alone. Trying to escape loneliness. Let's start there as your crowning energy. Clear out the clutter, but you're holding on to something. You're not letting go. You're refusing to let something go. I wonder what it is. Let's see. Watch and wait. This is a Pisces. It could be a Pisces. Um, it could be a father figure. Watch and wait. Missing, missing him. Um, looking out for like, like needing his presence in your life. Of feeling this need. Of feeling the loss. Of feeling an emptiness when this person isn't around. Um, impatient and not wanting to wait any longer. Of actually being sick of waiting. Okay. Remember, this is also, this is Cancerian energy and Pisces energy, all upside down and reverse. So this is all about a lot of emotions and maybe you're not ready to handle them or they're, they're, they're too much for you, almost being smothered in emotions or feeling like somebody is smothering you in their emotions because they don't want to let you go. And you're feeling pulled back to this heart space because it's almost like you feel, hold on, it's almost like you feel or somebody's making you feel like you're breaking their heart because or you feel like a disappointment to somebody. Time to let go. You want this person to let go. This, there's this energy of somebody won't let go or you won't let them go. 
of still being attached to the past or still needing somebody from the past, maybe a parent figure or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a lover, somebody from the past who used to provide you emotional support, really being in the thick this week of being thick with them and not wanting to, not wanting to detach from them. But at the same time, it's like your heart is broken, but you want to head back. It's almost like, you know, they're going to break your heart or, you know, you're going to miss them even more, but you still want to see them and you still want to go back to them. Or you're afraid to go back to them because uh, you know that you're, it's just going to lead to you not wanting to leave them again. Interesting energy. What is the central energy? Life is speeding up. This is Gemini energy. You know, Mercury is in retrograde, but this is somebody, something like combining two, two becoming one, or being in balance once again with the two different dynamics of yourself, something getting away from you or feeling like it's moving too fast. Maybe you feel like your life is moving too fast and it's out of your control and you can't keep up and you've been pretending that everything is okay. This is change, trying to fit into a new environment or a new atmosphere, a new set of circumstances pretending like everything is okay it's almost like you may want them to stay away because you don't want them to see that everything isn't okay and if they showed up you they would immediately see that everything isn't okay Taurus they would see through your guys because they know your heart they know who you really are this is trying to like fake it till you make it you know, make your way. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate this, this tenacity that you have, your determination to not give up, but simultaneously somebody who really knows you would be able to see that your heart is very heavy. You really need support, but it's almost like you're trying to stay away from support because you don't, either you don't want to admit how much you need support and how much you need help, or you don't want to hurt, break somebody else's heart by making them worry about you and making them feel like, um, yeah, by making them worry about you. Like that's why you're pretending like everything is okay because you don't want somebody else to, to worry about you. The abundant universe will provide. This is your energy. A sense of self, a sense of strength. A sense, you, you, you're trying to claim your independence. Even though it hurts you, even though it's scared. This is the train, do you hear it? Even though it hurts you, even though it scares you, even though you don't have your you-know-what together, your poo-poo is all over the place, you don't want to ask for somebody else's help because you know it would be too easy to fall right back into their help and you also don't want them to see how chaotic and crazy and the crap all over the walls because they would worry about you and they would be scared so you're trying to keep it from them. You're trying to hold it together and make it seem like you have everything together and that everything is okay and it's all because it's not for a bad reason. It's because you want to stand on your own two feet. You want a sense of who you are. You want a sense of yourself. You want this trial. You want this test. You want to be, to prove to yourself that you can do it, that you can figure out how to fit in, how to maneuver yourself, how to make all these decisions without somebody else's help. And it's so easy to just go back to this resource. It's just so easy. It would be so easy to fall back in love again or fall back in home again or fall back into these lovey-dovey comfort arms, but at the same time, and I think what's really keeping you from doing it is you know that you'd hurt them more than you hurt yourself. That leaving would hurt them more than you than, than, than it would hurt you when you left. You don't want this person to hurt. You want them to get over you. You want them to be able to let you go and you want to be able to let them go. You want to not need them need this circumstance, need the situation, or need the resources that they provide you. So this could be an employer as well. You want to be able to go solo and not need them to provide for you. So you're willing to take these hits this week. See, you're transforming. You're becoming something bigger and more beautiful, something freer, something lighter. This is Aquarian energy. I don't know if you're dealing with Aquarius, but this is like what you're, what you're growing into. Somebody who can fly, somebody who has, is agile. Like something, something about, I read that the dragonfly is the most agile flyer in the animal kingdom. He, they can go so many directions. They can hover. They, they are fast as heck. They could do these impossible things with their wings. Well, you're ready to do these impossible things with your wings. 
but you won't be able to if you don't get out of the water and you don't grow and allow yourself to grow and growth is hard. And I feel like that's kind of what you're telling yourself this week is like growth is hard. But I want who I'm about to become. I want who I have the potential to become, but I'm never going to become that if I continue to lean on those things that are comfortable to me. So you're trying to stay at a distance from those things that, that mean a lot to you. You're trying to not need them because you're transcending and, and trying to become something of your own, of your own design. Very courageous, Taurus. Very courageous. There you go. Virgo energy. Cultivating. Taking care of something. Planting seeds for the future. Maybe you're trying to plant seeds for a new relationship or job. You're planting seeds for the future right now. That's what all your energy goes into. You cultivating your new life. Five plus seven is um, 12 which is the energy of three, Holy Trinity. You're doing this because you believe, because you have faith in the future and what you're capable of. So this isn't, this isn't founded on insecurities or letting somebody down. It's letting somebody down by going back to them. Letting somebody down by inevitably having to leave them again. You want to avoid that and you're planting seeds for your future. You have confidence. This is believe in yourself time. You don't, you don't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're solo right now. You're trying to take root. When this card comes out, this is stag. This is that special energy of this is a special moment in your life. You know that this is a special moment of your life. You know that this is a special opportunity. And you're scared and you don't feel secure and there's wobbling under your feet, but you can't give away this opportunity because you know how much it means. This is planting roots. Being somewhere where you want to take root, you want to be able to grow. Do you see? You want to set up your structure for the future. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to determine your future, which means the work that you do today and the decisions that you make, and you know that it's important. You're taking root somewhere. Laying ground, laying a foundation for your future, which is worth a little bit of heartache, I guess. It's also a statement and a reassurance that the roots are going to grow. Your plants are going, your seeds, these acorns, you'll be able to prepare for the future. They're going to take root. And that's probably why this and that are true. You're in an in-between transitional phase. Yes, you are feeling unbalanced. Maybe you have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Maybe you um, are not stable in your social groups that you fit into or whoever you're hanging out with or whatever dynamic is at work. It doesn't feel, you can feel the instability all around you. So your choice is to just keep it as light as possible and to play, to play in the shallows and do as much with, you, what, with what you can with the resources that you have at hand. Oh, Taurus. Wow. Mm. Come on. Think on your feet. This is Sagittarius energy. Fox is really good and really wily. He could be manipulative too, but that's not the energy here. This is being able to think on your feet, being able to make split um, minute decisions, being nimble, being, um, yeah, being flexible, going with the flow, just like, just like dolphin, keeping it light, keeping it in the waves, skipping along with the waves, keeping it playful. So that you can roll with the punches. 
That's the only way that you know how to survive this right now is to just roll with the punches, almost laugh at yourself. Foxes almost seem like they're always laughing. But they're also strategists and they know how to think about the future. And right now, your strategy is to look like you're enjoying yourself because you don't want to have to leave. You want to be able to plant your seeds here. So you're just going to like fake it till you make it. This is wonderful grounding energy, Taurus, because this is your energy, cow spirit. The miracles are endless. This is being chosen, being selected, also being recognized or people being proud of you. Slow and steady wins the race. Take it one step at a time. Be comfortable with your emotions. Don't hide in your shell, but use your shell to protect you. This is almost like the King of Cups energy of being emotionally secured and having abundance just because you have a balance inside of yourself and you, you, you acknowledge what you're feeling. You accept it. You know what it, you know, it's true. And then bring your ideas to life. This is what you're working on. The energy of six love connection, communion, connecting with other people, being able to relate, being comfortable, being comfortable in a situation you normally wouldn't be comfortable in, but finding a way to be comfortable in a new circumstance. Finding a way to be comfortable in maybe a new world, a world that's that's changed radically. Trying to figure out how to how this new world works into your life and your psyche. But you're not going to give up. There's a refusal here to give up. Hold on, let me share the cards with you. Full spread. There you go. Lots. But this is this is finding a way to be comfortable while things are constantly changing because you don't really have a choice. And it's like something that you really cared about that you didn't want to let go of is now gone. You have to let go of it. You have to let go of it to move on and to have a future, but it's challenging. I'm not saying it's easy work. You just refuse to get emotional and you're trying to stay away from moving back to where you're comfortable because you know that that doesn't exist anymore. That place has to not be there anymore. Either it is completely gone or you need it to be gone because it's your safe place and the future isn't a safe place. The future is what you're building and that's risky business. So you're trying to keep it as light as possible and maybe even lie about how you're doing or how much money you're making, telling somebody that you're doing much better than you are as, as part of an investment in being able to stay where you are. Depending on how, how old you are, maybe if somebody knew that you weren't doing that well, they'd insist that you come home right now. Now for grown ass folk, that's not, that's not going to be the case, clearly. But this is definitely you, want, you not wanting, somehow you not wanting, you making a decision that the future is more important than the past and you don't want people to, to suffocate you or drag you down or hold you back. You're ready to let go. You're ready to, um, hmm. Or this is an energy of somebody that doesn't want to let you go. Making a decision to let you go in order to enable you to build the future that you want, putting your needs in front of their own. You had a really solid situation here. There's lots of potential, right? There's, there's water all around and it's conducting you. What can you do with all this water all, all around you? Use the emotions as a resource. Use your emotions and what you're feeling right now as the resource that sparks your future endeavors. That's what you're doing. That's what your bounty is. You can either drown or you can figure out how to use the resource that's around you right now. And a lot of it is high, it's, it's, it's high tide emotions. Lots of waves, lots of ebb and flow, figuring out how to navigate the waves 
and to make good with what you have available to you. You're, you're just, you're, you're, you, it's almost like you're taking root. You remember that scene from um, Lord of the Rings? What is it? Two Towers where the Ents come out of the woods and they flood Saruman's uh, castle. And the way that they don't get washed away is they root themselves so that they can withstand the flood. And like, that's what's going on. It's like you're rooting yourself. You're, you're rooting yourself in your potential and the decisions you make for the future. That's what is your root, your hope for the future. So that all these emotions and being scared of letting go and being sad and not being ready to let go in some situations, it doesn't drown you. Instead, it nourishes you and feeds you and even fuels the new spark for what's going to come. Let's go over to the extended and see what's coming in the extended. Um, also, your romance reading is over there. Taurus, I'll see you there. The link is below.